We've all been there. We haven't got that crucible yet, but we do need some steel. Maybe we're crafting some drone steel doors? Maybe it's a wire tool and various traps, blade traps, turrets, power doors, maybe even a vehicle that you're needed in order to progress in the game. Here's a bunch of things that actually take steel. You have the drones, turrets, steel doors. Of course, we probably wouldn't make the steel ship, not just yet, but you might want to have one of the power doors. Maybe you want to craft that magnum or 4x4. A bunch of mods actually take steel as well. Machine gun? Oh yeah. Machete? Yes, it does take it. Shotgun does. Robotic turret, rocket launcher, well that's not really early game, but there's a lot of things in there that just require steel. You want to make that steel club because you found the schematic early on, sorry, you're going to need steel. And sometimes you're just not finding it. You're not finding the crucible, you're not finding the schematic, and yes, of course, you can try to loot for it, which can give you some, you know, you can find uh, steel in destroyed workbenches, toolboxes, Forges can be pretty good, and of course construction and building crates, but that's super random. But this is where wrenching comes in super handy. There are a few really common items out there, and some not so common blocks, where you can wrench them to give you enough steel to get by in a pinch. So make sure to wrench that thumbs up like button, and follow me along on this journey. I have to say, the most common place where you're going to be able to wrench steel is in the streetlights. And the streetlights are, well, pretty much everywhere in the cities. They're really easy to spot and they're easily accessible. Make sure you just bring some frames, go all the way up to them, and then you just do a little bit of wrenching. You can do a right click or you can do a left click. And you saw we got some steel there. Let's see, we got two steel because I had one already just from one street light. And of course you get some other things as well. You normally get some electrical parts as well, which is really useful for anything you are building anyway. So lo just looking around here, let me go up here, fly up a little bit. You see all these different street lights. The parking garage has a lot of them, but even just around the streets, you'll see a bunch of them. Imagine if you wrench 50 of these, you're probably gonna get a hundred steel and that's gonna last you a while. The second item is actually fairly common, is the vending machine. Make sure it's the broken though, because if you're trying to wrench the non-broken, you're gonna be in for a bit of a shocking surprise. There we go, so we got one steel. Now these ones are not as common as the street lights, but if you see them, you can always wrench them down. You get a bunch of things, mechanical parts, electrical parts, forged iron and forged steel. And of, uh, even got some plastic there. So yeah, definitely are good ones to wrench down early on in the game. Much less common is the utility transformer. You can usually find it, you know, where you have the power line. So you would expect that after you see the power line sort of would be hanging here. There's no cables here. But uh, just like the street lights, you can just, uh, you know, nerd pull up and just uh, wrench them down. You will get some other resources as well. You can see the forged iron and the forged steel and the mechanical parts. So they're pretty good to wrench down just for, for those resources if you find them. But you know, just looking around, they are a lot less common than even the street lights. And you can see there's just all these street lights around, but there's not a lot of transformers. But if you find them, make sure you wrench them. And speaking of rare locations that you can actually wrench, the, you know the army munition boxes that are around? You actually can wrench them after you've looted them. And it actually will give you a little bit of iron and steel. Now I'm not a huge fan of wrenching them down myself because it means that you can't re-loot them, but they will give you some steel as well. And it might be good to know that the gun safe, believe it or not, can also give you some steel. Now they are a bit of a pain to wrench down because they have a lot of hit points, but they will actually eventually give you a little bit of steel. There are two types of hardened chests as well in some of the locations, especially the higher level POIs. And they usually have really good loot, but they also can be broken down for some steel. Now, again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that unless you really have to, because once they're gone, the loot is not going to respawn. But if you're playing sort of a fair playthrough where you are not re-looting previously explored areas, actually, it could be worthwhile to at least get a little bit of steel. If you happen to go by the commercial district, there's a lot of stores around there and some of them have 
both vending machines and ATMs are outside them. And the ATMs themselves are actually pretty good for harvesting. They do require a little bit of effort to get into to get that cash. But once you've actually broken into them, you can then harvest them afterwards and get, you know, one, two, maybe a few pieces of steel as well. Now, it's going to take a while because they do have a lot of hit points. So they're definitely not as good to harvest as, for instance, the street light. If all else fails, go to the traders and check all of them out because they actually carry sometimes a lot of steel in them. As you can see here, we have Trader Gen who is selling up to 59 steel for only 150 each. So if you have a bunch of cash around, and of course this old cash is not going to really work until I sell it, but it does give you the ability to buy a few of them at least that uh, can allow you to do some of the crafting. But I would definitely suggest Go and wrench those street lights. Those are the best bet. So as you can see, there are a lot of blocks out there that you actually can wrench for some steel. Not all as easily accessible as you might have imagined, but just to climb up to those street lights, get to wrenching them, you know, the occasional uh, vending machine or the ATM as well, and you'll at least be able to craft some of those steel items that you need in order to just keep you until you find that crucible. That's all for today. Good luck, Survivor. Get wrenching. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedit community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.